the end of grazing is upon us. So, uh, what do I mean by that? Well, some of you may have heard of ZoomLock, ZoomLock Max, but today we're gonna go over RLS, which right here, RLS crimping. So pretty much it's the exact same thing as ZoomLock. Uh, our our ZoomLock Max has uh, just got different gels. Well, you don't have to braze with this. You literally join two pieces of copper together with a fitting and you're, you're pressing it together. It's literally when done correctly, it will look like a hydraulic crimp. Um, now, a lot of old timers, like, they don't like this. They don't like that. They, they, they say it won't hold up. It won't. So RLS says we guarantee as long as you do this correctly for 15 years. 15 years is the, I mean, <laughs> most units won't make it to 15 years. Um, because most people won't get maintenance done. So, pretty much, we're gonna go over how to use this and just kind of talk about it. But uh, yeah, so 15 years, uh, it's guaranteed for. Um, people want to know how does it hold up, like vibrations, kicking, bumping, getting stepped on, stuff like that. Well, uh, so according to RLS, they have done extensive uh, testing on this, and they're stating, if you get right on their website, they're stating that it's just as good, if not better, than brazing uh, when it comes to uh, temperature changes, being frozen, thawing out, all the vibrations cracking, nothing. So the, the, what it is, inside there's an O-ring right inside this little humped up part. And uh, that O-ring is actually made of the same material as what's in your valves that are in refrigeration. So they're saying there's no change. They're not going to dry rot. They're not going to fail uh, any sooner than any other part of uh, the system would. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. We're just going to do a 3H90 to show you how fast it is. It's so much faster than brazing. Uh, and you don't have to get a hot work. Tight spaces, it doesn't matter. It, you can get the gun. The gun head swivels. We'll show you that. And uh, yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so we're going to pretty much, we're going to try to do everything in real time. So you got your pipe. Normally it wouldn't be short. Say you got refrigerant lines and you got to put a couple in here. You got to put 90 in here, right? So let's do a 90. So you've already cut your pipe open. It comes with this fancy little uh, deburr on the inside of the pipe and on the outside of the pipe. So you definitely want to do the inside of the pipe. Stick it in there. Do some twist. Get everything out of it. Do the outside. But every time you cut pipe, it always kind of actually pushes up on the outside. So, pretty good. And then take your Scotch Brite. This ain't sandpaper. You don't want to actually, you just want to make it a smooth surface. So, right now you got a nice smooth surface there. And do that on both pieces of the pipe. Maybe a little bit more prep time than brazing, but. Uh, and the end result, you don't have to get torched out. You don't have to get a hot work permit. You don't have to do any of that stuff. Okay? And then you got a little measuring, a depth gauge. So you pick your size, put it in there, get your fancy RLS marker, simply mark a line on your depth. All right? And then, that's actually going to be the line that you go to in your fitting. Just like that on both sides. Okay, I've already pre-prepped. See how the head swivels so you can get in different angles? I've already pre-prepped the actual gun here. So you put your gauge down. Open it up. Now this isn't like if, it, if any of you have done uh, Pro Press. Pro Press, you end up putting the uh, o-ring part in the center of the jaw. You don't do that in this one. It goes one on the edge and one on the, in the flare side on the other corner. And then literally you just pull the trigger. And that's it, you're done. Move on to the next fitting. So 
right there, you have a fully crimped piece that won't leak. Uh, I mean, they're saying 15 years. I've been doing this at least for five years with this set, and I've never had a leak, ever. Uh, then you got this little fancy doodad that measures your crimp. So you go to the spot where you actually just crimped it, find three eighths, because what we just used, if you put that on there, this fitting, it actually comes in nice and tight. It doesn't, it doesn't slide around or anything. Now, let me show you real close. So if you look real close, right there where the light, where the crimp is, right here, I'm trying to get the focus here, it says RL, RLS, it's actually printed in it. That print means it was a nice, tight crimp. You can see how quick that was to do one fitting. I didn't get torches out. I didn't do any of that stuff. I mean, it's just super, super fast. Now, there's a couple things here. If, if it does leak, you can't just braze over this thing. You gotta actually cut it out. You, and you can't remove it once you do crimp it. So you can't braze over because if you end up melting that O-ring, it's gonna get inside the system, you're screwed. So, other than that, I mean, it's freaking, I mean, you're not gonna get it out. It's seriously just as good as brazing uh, when you look at the stats, uh, especially from the, the, the statistics of um, what RLS has proved, provided. Um, you can get on the website, tons of data on there, and all kinds of stuff. Now, it was a con. Uh, another con is the fact that this set costs thousands of dollars. It isn't cheap. <laughs> um, so, unless you do a lot of brazing, uh, a lot of uh, piping work, probably not worth getting, but it costs a lot. Um, but if you do a lot of it, man, you can get jobs done in no time. Um, do water lines, it's made for copper, so you can't take two dissimilar uh, metals and put them together. It has to be copper to copper. And uh, you do soft copper, hard copper, it doesn't matter. Um, I have never, I really have never had a leak with this. And you can do, get everything all prepped and done all together and you just go through, hit it with the gun, bam, 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 and you're done. I mean, it's that quick. Uh, you don't have to purge uh, with nitrogen uh, because you end up getting all that black soot when you braze. It's such a clean system on the inside. Um, it takes a lot of uh, people, they want to use it to gain trust and faith, uh, you know, if it does work or not. But I'm telling you, I've done that at least for five, six years. I've never had one fail. Uh, not yet, anyhow. Guys, if you want a fast and efficient way to get jobs done, clean and everything, this is it. Uh, I mean, super quick, change out the heads, put different sizes in, bam. You only got to crimp it once. I believe it's an inch and an eight, inch and three eighths is what you go up to before you actually have to crimp it twice. And on that end, you would crimp it once, turn the gun, I think it's like 60 degrees, crimp it again. Other than that, everything's just one, one crimp, you're done. So, but uh, yeah, if you guys would, like, share, and subscribe, and come back for more.